to another video and today I'm going to teach you how to have a custom face in Roblox Studio for things such as GFXs and also how to make a custom decal face. Enjoy! If you don't know what I mean, basically it's going from this to this. Now you can choose any face for your Roblox avatar, but usually I go with super super happy face because I think that it looks the best in GFXs. Go to this search bar over here and type in anything, such as hi. Now press library and wait for your page to load. Once your page is loaded, go to this box over here and press decals. Now go to this box over here and type in the face you want for your avatar. For me, that's super super happy face. Now click on any one of these faces as long as it's not super stretched or something random like this. Now press get and press get now. And there you have it. Your first step is completed. Now open Roblox Studio, go to this shopping bag over here and type in load character. Make sure that the mode is on plugins. Now press the first one that comes up and install it. I already have it installed, so there's no need for me to do it again. Once you have the plugin installed, go to plugins, then press on it and type in your username. For me, that would be cheesy cheesy yellow. Now make sure that spawn at origin is checked and press spawn R6. Use your mouse and WASD to position your camera into a comfortable position. Now go to your explorer, double click on your character slot, scroll down until you find head. Now go back to home, then go to move, and use the red arrow to move your head away from your avatar. Now double click on your head, press on face, and press backspace or delete on your keyboard. Now go to these four squares over here, then change the mode to my images, click on the head again, and press the decal you just bought. And there you have it. The face has been applied to your head. Now press on your head again, and use these arrows to move it back to your avatar. And there you have it. That's how you apply a custom face to your Roblox avatar in Roblox Studio for things such as GFXs. The second part of this tutorial is going to explain how to make a custom face decal. So instead of having super super happy face on your avatar, you could have something as super super happy face with eyelashes or a different blush or a different mouth on your avatar instead. The first thing that you're going to want to do is open any art application that you have. I really like to use Pixlr because it is free and accessible on all devices. Once you're in Pixlr.com, press Pixlr E and go back to your Roblox browser. Now what you're going to want to do is type in the face that you want to renovate. Now you don't have to renovate a face, your face could be completely custom, which means that you could have completely custom eyes, lips, nose, etc. But I find it easier to just renovate a face that Roblox has already created. Type in your face. I'm going to type in super super happy face and press avatar shop. Now click on the correct item, right click and press save image as. Now save it to your computer named whatever you would like. Once you've done so, go back to Pixlr and press open image. Now select the file you just downloaded and open it. And here we go. I suggest adding a background layer so that it's easier to see what you're doing. To do so, add a new layer like I just did. Unlock the background layer by right clicking on it and pressing unlock and move the new layer under the background layer. Now go to the bucket tool and select a skin tone. Press anywhere to fill your whole canvas with that skin tone. Now you can start to draw over the Roblox face. Click the plus button, then press empty. You're gonna wanna make sure that you're drawing on a new layer so that you can copy and paste things or erase things without having the original face affected. Now, like I said previously, I am going to add eyelashes. There's not really much to explain while I'm doing this, but right now you can basically do anything. What I'm showing on the screen right now is just an example. 
Here I'm going to copy and paste what I've already done to the other side so that it's symmetrical by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V on my keyboard. Now I'm going to press flip horizontal to flip my copied image. Now I'm going to remove this blush because personally I think it looks blocky and not good. To do so, I'm going to select whatever I want to, then press delete on my keyboard. Now I'm going to search for some new blush. Now I'm going to add freckles by repeating the process by looking for freckles that have a transparent background. Since this doesn't really fit with my blush, I'm going to freely transform it to make it longer. Now that probably doesn't make a sense, but it'll all make sense in just a few moments. I'm going to press edit, then free transform, and as you can see, I can now adjust the width and length. After adjusting the transparency, it looks like this, which I am happy with. Now I'm going to change the mouth by looking for a face on Roblox with a better mouth. Now I don't really like the color of these lips, and to fix that, I'm going to go to Adjustment, then Hue slash Saturation, and simply by using this kind of circle over here, I'm going to change the color. I am also going to change the brightness and contrast just a little bit. Now lastly, I'm going to add some eyeshadow. Now I am going to copy and paste this to the other side using the method I previously explained. And there you have it, I've created my face. Now I'm going to untoggle the skin tone visibility, go to file, then save to save my face decal. Once you're done naming the file, press download. Now to upload your decal to Roblox and start putting it on your avatar, go to create then select decals, press choose file, and select the face decal file you previously downloaded. Once you're done, you can name it whatever you would like, and press upload. Now open Roblox Studio, select classic faceplate or any other theme, and repeat the process you previously did. Go to plugins, then press on load character, type in your username, and press spawn R6. And there you have it. Now my Roblox avatar has a custom face that I made. I personally think that it looks a little bit good. Um, if I could revise it, I would probably move the lips down and get rid of this funky white glow. But other than that, that would be the end of my tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, have a splendid day, and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye!